Okay, this time we will create a 3D scene of a text and a shape. Change the object material from solid color to textured material. As usual we create a new fusion composition in the media pool and open it in the fusion page. For this basic 3D scene, we add a text 3D node, a spotlight, a camera 3D, and an ambient light. All of them are connected to a merge 3D node. A renderer 3D node is connected to render the final 2D image output. Enter 3D material as the text. Adjust the text parameters like extrusion, bevel settings in the inspector panel to your liking. Adjust the camera and lights until you see the best result you want. Enable the Use Target option for easy adjustment. Don't forget to check the lighting and shadow options of the renderer 3D node. We now have a 3D text ready for our demo. Go to the Inspector panel of the text node, in the Shading tab, change the material type to Image. After the change we notice that a new white input called Color Image is added to the node in the node editor. In the media pool, I have prepared a few texture images for this demo from Microsoft PowerPoint. Drag the marble white image to the editor and connect it to the text node color image input. In the right viewer, we can see it's applied to the text immediately and looks pretty nice. You can also change the material color of the text as you want. Change the color back to white if you want to keep the original material texture color. In this demo, I also have a brown marble texture image, which I like more than the white one. Drag it to the editor, disconnect the previous white marble image from the text node, and connect this brown one. The brown material color looks richer to me. To see the text from different angles, I want to spin the text by adding an animation. Make sure the playhead is at frame zero. In the inspector, go to the layout tab, enable keyframes for the rotation Y value. Move playhead to the end of the clip, enter 360 as the end value of the animation. Play the clip and the text is animated with a rotating effect. Next we will add a 3D cube to the scene. Change it to flat board, you will need to uncheck the lock width height depth option before you can adjust its dimension size. All other settings are left to their default. The 3D shape node has a green material input, which allows us to connect a material image. In the media pool, drag the oak texture image to the editor and connect to the shape node. Right away we see the material change in the viewer. To demo the diffuse color effect, I went to the inspector of the shape 3D node, and in the material tab, I changed the diffuse color to light orange. If we want more advanced control of how the material looks and feels, we can insert a blend node between texture image and shape node, which is a 3D material tool with a few inputs that allow us to add details to the material. In this demo, we will use its bump map input to make the material a bit more realistic. In the media pool, I have created a black and white version of the oak texture with higher contrast. Drag it to the editor, with the node selected, press shift space to open the tool selection window, search and add a bump map after the high contrast image. Hold alt key to drag and connect the bump map output to the bump map material input of the blin node. Zoom in to check the material surface, we can check the difference with and without the bump effect. Adjust the height scale of the bump map to change the effect strength to our liking. By adding the bump map effect the surface looks sharper with a more 3D feel. After a blend material is linked to the shape node, the color we changed earlier in the shape node no longer affects the material color. To change its color, select the blend node and go to the inspector panel. Change the diffuse color to light orange, as we did before. Alright, that's all for today, thanks for watching, and see you next time.